Previously, on the Jensen Snow Saga. Last night at 3.02 a.m., Jensen messages me. He says, my guy, I think Auntie Snow patched my methods. Look at this. Wait, what is that? Okay, so this is the really weird part. It's all this weird encrypted text. Wait a second. So this is literally like in your Fortnite files, this thing you just sent me? It says July 6, 2019. Deletion of old ways signify new beginnings. Servers will fall. This is your warning. Stay offline July 6th. You can make a different script where when it runs Fortnite, it just deletes your account. So Anti Snow somehow has access to this. Alrighty guys, ladies and gentlemen, today's video is freaking insane, okay? If you missed last vid, I hope that pre-intro kind of caught you up, but we have finally decrypted everything. If you're subscribed, thank you so much. If you haven't already, subscribe if you're new. Turn on notifications, follow me on Instagram or Twitter, and destroy that like button right now, okay? I want you guys to demolish that like button. I don't know if we can do it. Let's go for 30,000 likes. But most importantly, watch this entire video because you will not believe what we found out about July 6th and anti-snow. I hope you guys enjoy this vid. Let's get into it. Alrighty guys, ladies and gentlemen, hello viewers, I, shoot. Hello viewers on the internet. This video, it, it's kind of worrying. I don't even know how to start this. I really don't. Um, uh, uh, throw a meme in, Llama. Hey, can you throw me another pre sun? The last video I uploaded exposed something freaking crazy, guys. In this video, we found out that somehow Anti Snow had gotten like files into Jensen Snow's computer. These files played a strange sound, which we spectrogrammed. Not only that, we found this code. And here's a clip of this code. And as soon as I uploaded this video, I asked you guys, yo, please help us figure this out. Help us find out what this means. We knew the first part was hex. This last part was like some biblical thing. I spent so much time going through all of these comments and ladies and gentlemen, we uh, we finally know what it means. So many of you guys at home put in the work to find out and decode this. And before I show you this, before I tell you exactly what this decoded message is, I gotta let you guys know that this bit is a little spooky. Um, obviously, Anti Snow could still be trolling everybody at this point, but I know when you guys see this, you'll probably be on the same exact tweak and page that I'm in in this this whole book. <laughs> That didn't make sense. Somebody actually spent all this time fully decoding this and tagged me on Twitter on like this Google Doc. But there is one thing that we actually got to get into that is kind of like it's on the same topic, but it's something I got to let you guys know about. It's kind of low key exposing a fake Jensen Snow. I just want to do this to protect you guys from getting scammed. And this person doesn't deserve any attention, but there's a guy right now and there's multiple fake Jensen Snow accounts. There's a Jensen Snow YouTube channel that has 18,000 subscribers. There's he's using a fake profile pic. I'm pretty sure this guy has the supporter creator code Jensen Snow and I don't even have a supporter creator code sadly. But there's this channel who's literally pretending to be in contact with Jensen Snow. He does like interviews with him. It's a totally fake guy. He's getting a lot of views on these videos and he's literally scamming people and like telling them to put in like some code to get like these Fortnite skins and know that this channel is totally fake. Okay. And please do not fall for his scams. Jensen Snow is a great guy and <laughs> I hope you're on team Jensen. But right now his methods are literally patched and there's no way to give everybody these free skins. So please, for me to you guys, don't fall for these tricks or methods or whatever. Now that these guys are exposed, we can get into this video and we can get into the decoding part. So I've been talking to Jensen about how this guy exactly got these files into his computer. And Jensen will tell us at the end of this video, but focusing on this stuff and decoding this message, I'm gonna have to do this and like, uh, I'm gonna have to pull up a notepad because this stuff is freaking nuts. And I can't believe you guys actually figured this out at home. I know you would figure it out because you're way smarter than I am, but all of what I'm about to show you is coming from the comments. I mentioned this at the beginning, but somebody made this whole thing deciphering and decoding everything. So with that out of the way, let's get into it. All right, this is where things get freaking spooky, dude. Like literally, uh, okay. All right, so beginning the decryption and decoding of all of this, and this is where things get stupid spooky. I'm gonna have to break this up into four parts. So from what we know so far about this hidden code, there's four different parts parts, not including this quote down here. This quote down here, not by the works of the righteous, which we have done, but according to his mercy has saved us, blah, 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 blah. This is an exact quote from the Bible. And at the end where it's blank and the renewing of 
blank. It says the Holy Ghost. I don't want to really talk about this one because it kind of seems like Auntie Snow has a God complex a little bit, but revealing the answers of what we do know about. This first part of the code is hexadecimal. In order to decrypt this, and this one's pretty easy, you just got to go hex to text, throw in your hexadecimal input, you'll get your word output. The first part of the cipher says July 6th, 2019, deletion of old ways signifies new beginnings. And July 6th, 2019 pops up so much in this, guys. Let me get this part in here so we're all on the same page. All right, so July 6th, 2019, deletion of old ways signifies new beginnings. So the second part of this that's kind of easy that you guys told me about super fast, this down here. So the purple thing. So the way you solve this is you have to move every letter to the left one. So right here, OP would be N and then O. This is called a Caesar cipher. When you throw it into the encryption thing, <laughs> it comes out as the output. No one is safe. New accounts for all July 6th. Uh <laughs> As you guys can see, July 6th pops up for a second time, and this isn't even the creepiest part. It gets worse. All right, so where we're looking now is this blue part. This is the third part that was decrypted and sent to me. I had no clue what this was. I thought this was like a time code. People thought it was like verses from the Bible. I got tweeted that a few times. But in order to solve this, you need to pull out a letters in the alphabet numbered thing. Think about A as one, B as two, C as three, and so on. You guys know there's 26 letters in the alphabet. So once you think about it like that, 10, 5, which I thought was a timestamp, would turn out to be 10 being the 10th letter in the alphabet, J. You go like this, you go J, <laughs> 5, A, B, C, D, E. Now we're on 14, which happens to be N, which 19, S, oh, 5, oh look, E, and 14 again. Yeah. If you go ahead and follow this entire code, assuming that zeros are, you know, nothing, it turns out to be Jensen is not the good. You guys can go ahead and check all of this and verify it yourselves. Now, this one's really weird to me. The fact that it just says Jensen is not the good because it's literally like, it kind of seems like he didn't correctly finish it. Jensen is not the good what? You know, Anti Snow said he wanted to expose Jensen, maybe exposing him for chasing clout or something. But if he's saying Jensen is not the good, like, what does that even mean? I don't know. Again, I'm figuring all this out with you guys, so you're gonna have to let me know down below what you think. But so moving on to the final one, and I don't fully have the answer for this yellow part here, guys. I did my best figuring this out. I didn't really see any comments that kind of knew exactly what it was, but after my research, this is how I kind of figured it out. So looking at it like this, you kind of see just random words and random things and it kind of looks like usernames with lots of x's at the end they don't really have any order uh until you start looking at it diagonally the way you solve this you start at the bottom left corner s you go up to e you go diagonal down to r you go back up v diagonal e diagonal again r and now you finally have a word now if you do this in a notepad it's kind of easier than just doing it in photoshop because it lines up better but if you go ahead and do this entire thing it comes out to servers will fall this is your warning and then the next part and i still don't even know if i'm fully doing this right but what it says is stay offline july 6th and then right here it messes up and like just gets random words um so i don't know if this was done properly i may just be looking into this wrong but servers will fall this is your warning stay offline july 6th does not seem like a random coincidence to me <laughs> Just throwing that out there. Oh. Now, recapping, going over the facts, I've never made a video like this, so I, I hope this is watchable and makes sense. But we as the community have decrypted July 6, 2019 is the deletion of old ways. Servers will fall. We should stay offline. And that no one is safe. New accounts for all, July 6. Now, Jensen and I have talked about this, and I don't want to worry you guys or freak you out with my content or get you scared or anything like that but the way I feel about it is this guy is saying July 6th the biggest date 18 whatever GMT something's gonna happen and he he keeps saying deletion of old ways signifies new beginning he talks about new accounts I don't know if he's deleting everybody's account or what's happening but at the end of the day this is 
you know, this is what it's saying. So with all of that out of the way, now the redeeming part of this video where things get good, Jensen said he may know how anti-snow is doing this. My guy, I'm tweaking so hard. Okay, I just caught all of the viewers up on this code and I showed them how like we decrypted it. My dude, I gotta ask you, just so the viewers know how you feel about it, this whole deletion of accounts thing and new ways and July 6th, like how do you feel about all of this? Uh, I don't even know how to feel about this. <laughs> Update me in the viewers, has any Anything weird been going on with like your internet and stuff? Have you seen any more weird files or? Yeah, my my internet's still been being weird. Okay, July 6th. I don't want to like freak out about it too bad, but July 6th is one month exactly after Anti Snow told us he would hear from us. So viewers, this is a big vid. I know this is so confusing probably, but Jensen and I do have good news. We do have some things that we can put forward that I think will, you know, kind of alleviate or that's not even the word. We have some things that will make the situation a little bit better. Um, so Jensen, I remember last time you got your methods like patched or whatever, um, mm -hmm. but you're working on that right now, right? Yeah, we're, um, we're really close to being able to do what I do again. Does it not tweak you out that like somebody else can just disable your ability to do that stuff? Yeah, it's weird, dude. <laughs> I think I know how Anti Snow is going to, um, do what he said he's going to do. Okay. Explain this to me and to the viewers. I know you kind of briefly talked about it before, but I gotta, I gotta let the world know. Like I said in last video. There's something called cloud storage in Fortnite and basically can you screen share this to me by the way? Go to the C drive or the D drive or wherever Fortnite is and then go to program files Okay. And then go to um, Epic Games. Okay, Fortnite. Yep, Fortnite. And then you should see Fortnite game. And then inside that, there's a folder called Persistent Download Directory. Okay, I'm, I'm on so this file right now. In there, every time that Fortnite's opened, it re-downloads that from the servers for your account. And that's how they like hotfix out um, guns and like bugs and stuff. From this folder, the Persistent Download Drive or Directory. But this is the stuff that's like auto updates, right? You were saying something about that when we were talking about it and you showed me. Yeah. So so explain the creepy part. I mean, like the you're the you're the smart guy here. You're the the god coder hacker what i think he's gonna do is he can go into the cloud storage where they like hotfix everything out and then he can make i don't really know this syntax but um he can make a different script where when it runs fortnite it just deletes your account and this is something that this is something i'm, I'm not trying to say this with like a smile on my face because it, it's literally like i'm tweaking this is an auto updater for everybody right like yeah. fortnite yeah. pc users xbox ps4 like yeah. this auto update so anti snow somehow has access to this yeah <laughs> so jensen i wanted to call you today and I, I wish when i called you today you were like you know anti snow's full of crap you know this there's, there's, there's no way this could happen but you're telling me right now this is actually possible <laughs> yeah so you know how i told you they can override like playlists like ltms in yeah. these files yeah the devs like to leave like um what's called a comment and you can do a comment by like it, it's something that the computer doesn't run like i could just type a semicolon and then whatever i want and the computer won't run it it's just like to tell you what's there right? okay so these guys they enable the playground and then <laughs> look at what they have over it playgrounds so in... <laughs> my dudes <laughs> playlist override yeah that's what they actually put there the more i learn about the situation the more and more i kind of tweak low-key and i honestly think that anti snow is like a fortnite admin that went rogue or something like i don't know how you guys know how to do this in the first place but the fact that he can do it this in-depthly like having access to these server stuff like i bet fortnite is even trying to stop this guy like i hope he does or i hope he gets stopped i told you i would keep you updated on the situation i i'm gonna try my best to continue doing that july 6th is a really far way away but i think the more we talk about july 6th the more of a big deal we make it like the higher chance fortnite is gonna actually find out about it and stop this from happening i mean i know jensen you're you're all powerful but it's a lot of weight on your shoulders kind of my guy to like stop this in a way <laughs> Viewers, if you're on hashtag Team Jensen, say it in the comments. I don't know. <laughs> All right, my guy Jensen, thank you for having this call with me again, dude. Thanks for helping me get the word out there. But TLDR, what is your stance on this situation, I guess? What is your closing thought? I think he can do what he said he's going to do. It's possible. But you're going to kick his butt? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> Makes me feel a little bit better inside. All right, see you out there, Jensen. Peace, dog. Yeah, uh, that was not reassuring at all. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, he's calling me again. So I don't have supporter creator code Jensen Snow. That That's not me. It's some guy with like 18,000 subscribers faking being me. Oh and then also this guy, Nogo, is like faking DMs with me and like faking my voice and everything. I've never talked to him ever. Literally, <laughs> not the me. man himself exposing everything. Thing. Okay, I gotta wrap this up. Ladies and freaking gentlemen, make sure right now you subscribe. Turn on your notifications. Destroy that like button. Comment what you think is gonna happen on July 6th because I really hope it's just, you know, I, I hope it's a celebration. Maybe Anti Snow gives everybody a Fortnite account instead of deleting everybody's Fortnite account. But follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Links are down below. But I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, safe, and amazing day. Stay safe out there. Goodbye, everybody. Oh. <laughs>